and thanks so much for clicking on this video. If we've never met before, my name is Erica and I'm a traditional media artist specializing in sketching and watercolor painting. And I love drawing and painting all sorts of different subjects from animals to landscapes to still life and everything in between. My days revolve around creating and selling original decorative artwork and also creating helpful content for serious aspiring artists out there that I share via my YouTube channel, via this website, and via my other social media platforms. I also run my membership over on Patreon, Becoming Artists, through which I'm constantly sharing exclusive content. And on top of all that, I also mentor students one-on-one -on -one via Skype, who are interested in making deeper, faster progress as artists. In this video, I want to talk about the difference between principles, concepts, and techniques, and why it's absolutely imperative that as a beginner or even intermediate artist, if you've been at it for longer and are hitting walls and you don't know why you can't seem to make deeper progress, why it's absolutely imperative that you understand the difference between these three things and that you actually start incorporating, adopting new knowledge and also practices that are gonna help you advance your skills in all three areas if you're looking to make deeper, serious artistic progress. I've had the immense honor of teaching and guiding artists of all different kinds of levels, ages, and mediums for almost 10 years now, initially at a local level, and a few years back I started taking what I do online, which has been amazing because my message has grown at a larger level and I've been able to impact artists from all over the world. But something that I often see beginners and even intermediate artists struggling with is hitting a wall with their artistic level. They don't know why they can't seem to break away from copying other artists' work. And I just see so many people struggling with confusion, overwhelm, frustration, because even with all of this content that they have available in the online space and this inspiration coming to them from other artists' amazing pieces, they're not able to progress their own skills, they're not able to develop their own artistic style and voice, and they're confused as to how to move forward. And what I've seen throughout this time is that 99.9% .9 of the time, this is due to the fact that all of their time, effort, focus, energy is going into just one or two of these three key areas, and they are ignoring the other one or the other two. All right, so with all that said, I am now going to go ahead and explain what the difference between principles, concepts, and techniques is, why they are all so, so important, how they all merge together so that you can get to a point at which you're constantly creating original artwork that is impactful, that is visually pleasing, that actually is able to transmit a message effectively that others get inspired with and connect to and actually want to buy and hang up in their spaces if that's somewhere that you want to get to, sell your artwork consistently and all that. Getting to a point at which you're consistently creating original artwork that has yourself in it, that transmits the message that you want to transmit, and that is higher quality really involves knowledge and tangible practice in these three key areas. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first one, which is going to be principles. Principles go hand in hand with art fundamentals. And when you go to art school, at least the good ones, <laughs> they teach you about art fundamentals in the beginning semesters and you keep coming back to them throughout your entire uh, studies. What are art fundamentals, you might ask? Basically, art fundamentals are elements and principles of art, which are the building blocks of any type of artwork, from hyper-realistic artwork to abstract artwork. They are all made up of these basic building blocks. Um, principles of art essentially have to do with how artists make use of the elements of art to create movement, to create balance, to create contrast, rhythm, all of that in their visual compositions. But also when it comes to art fundamentals, there is color theory, there is light behavior, there is perspective and 3D form and anatomy and composition design. One never really becomes a master at any of these but you continue coming back to them throughout your journey and continue improving your use of all of these things. And it's through continuing to learn and continuing to self-evaluate your work and making mindful use 
of all of these guides and principles that you really develop your artwork to a higher quality level, to a outstanding level that is actually able to communicate a message and that is simultaneously visually pleasing for people. When it comes to principles and art fundamentals, there are many important rules, right? Or guidelines to learn about in the beginning of your journey, which in my opinion, it's essential to learn about the rules before you break them because you're gonna be able to create more successful pieces later if you learn the basics first. But these really are guidelines. Like let's just say the rule of thirds. That's a guideline that is really gonna help you create um, a balanced visual composition that is asymmetrical, that keeps the viewer's attention moving through the piece. Also, when it comes to color theory, like yes, there are different artists out there that make use of different kinds of color wheels, but there is an essential uh, fundamental base that you cannot deny about color and color theory. Another example is light behavior. So light acts in a specific way in real life, and it's important that if you're looking to develop mid to higher levels of realism in your artwork, whatever it is that you do, it's important that you understand about light behavior so that you're able to then understand about value, light, midtones, and darks, cast shadows, why highlights happen, and all of that stuff. That is something that cannot be denied. That is something that if you're looking to create mid to higher levels of realism in any kind of artwork, you need to know about. Doesn't really matter what kind of medium it is that you're using, what kind of subject it is that you like drawing or painting, or what kind of style it is that you like developing, whether it's hyper-realism or abstract, knowledge of art principles and art fundamentals is going to increase the quality of your work tremendously. It's gonna take it to a whole nother level. And honestly, I can tell immediately when someone has taken time to learn about the fundamentals and when someone hasn't. Art principles and fundamentals are theory, that you should start learning about and arming yourself since the beginning of your journey and continue coming back to throughout your journey so that you can continue improving and evolving your use of these things mindfully along the way. So that's basically what principles and art fundamentals are. They are theory that is going to help increase the quality of your work and the success of your visual compositions. All right, so moving on to number two, and this is concepts. So concepts are very different from art principles or art fundamentals, but they are just as important. And these have to do with the message that you are personally trying to communicate through your artwork. So what is important to you? What do you feel strongly about? And what message, idea, or story are you trying to communicate through your artwork. Whether you're creating still life compositions that have only one single object in them, or whether you're creating pieces with a ton of different uh, figures in them that are doing specific things and a background and a middle ground and a foreground and everything in between, you should be trying to communicate something through your work. And sometimes it's just gonna be a mood or a vibe and other times it's gonna be a full story or a, you know, sometimes pieces have a whole narrative to them. So it totally depends on your type of artwork. But you as an artist, you have something that you're trying to communicate through your work. And this is where concepts come in. So what do you feel strongly about? What are you passionate about? What do you hate? What moves you, right? And just as an example, let's just say that someone is very passionate about animal rights, right? And their concept is going to be to communicate an animal's emotion and personality through a series of, of animal paintings with different kinds of animals. And the artist is gonna bring a lot of focus and attention and detail into the animal's eyes so that all of the animal paintings can really transmit a lot of emotion through those eyes. And the people seeing those animal portraits, those paintings are gonna go straight to the animal's eyes and are gonna get impacted by the emotion and personality of that, of that animal through seeing that portrait. So that is, that is a concept, right? As the artist creating that series, I am transmitting the importance and the uh, magic of animals through the series of animal pieces and I am coming up with ideas that I can really impact the viewer through making artistic choices. 
that has to do with creating a concept. Once you have your concept, you're going to start creating your thumbnail sketches, bringing in your knowledge of art principles and art fundamentals to create an impactful piece that people are going to want to look at, that has a focal point, that is harmonious, that is well balanced, because that is going to help you communicate the message that you're trying to communicate. But if you don't know about composition, if you don't know about elements and principles of art and how to create asymmetrical balance and interest in a piece that is going to be very difficult for you to do because you could have an amazing concept but if you don't know how to create a visually pleasing composition it's super easy to create a piece that is very overwhelming to look at or that simply fails at communicating the message that you're trying to communicate and i see this all the time even when beginner artists have that confidence to go straight in and create original compositions. Oftentimes their drawings or paintings end up being very overwhelming to look at, very simple and boring to look at, or just they fail to communicate what they're trying to communicate. But an art concept is where you bring yourself into your artwork. It has to do with you sharing your own personal message through your work, what's important to you, what you're passionate about. So I hope that the difference between art principles and art concepts is clear and how they work together to create original artwork that is also visually pleasing and is able to communicate a message. Now let's move on to thing number three, which is going to be technique. Technique varies immensely from artist to artist, and it has to do not only with the particular mediums that the artist likes to use, but also how that specific artist uses those mediums. This one has to do with practicing and gaining mastery over the specific drawing or painting mediums of our choice, whether it's graphite pencils, pen and ink, watercolor, acrylic paint, whatever it is, technique has to do with the specific mediums. And this one goes hand in hand with going through artist tutorials and artist courses that they share. Um, they help us gain an understanding about, about watercolor, about graphite, about pen and ink, whatever it is, they help you understand the medium, what makes the medium different from other drawing or painting mediums, and also they help you increase your mastery over your medium. Once again, this is very different from art principles and fundamentals and also from creating an original concept. This is specifically on technique, on the technical skills that you have to gain to see your vision through. Something I see so many beginners struggling with is they're able to gain a high skill level with their drawing or painting medium, but when it comes time to creating an original piece, they're completely lost. They don't even know where to start. And the reason this is, is because all of their time, energy, and focus has gone into following step-by-step -step tutorials or workshops or classes in which the instructor is telling them exactly step-by-step -step what to do. So when those step-by-step -step instructions have been taken away, when the reference photo has been taken away, when the instructor has not even given you any understanding of elements and principles of art throughout the process or has not encouraged you to bring in any of your own ideas to change the visual composition throughout the process, obviously you're going to be completely lost because you don't have that anymore. It's important that as a beginner getting started with a new drawing or painting medium, you do take classes, you do go to courses, you do understand about the medium so that you then can actually know how to use it to create quality pieces, right? However, once you understand how to use the medium and once you have gained at least a basic skill level, try to start creating your own original pieces as soon as possible so that you don't hit that wall. Because not only has that visual composition already been created for you, but you're following a step-by-step -step process based on another artist's way of doing things. And you have to start creating your own visual compositions from scratch. You have to start developing that project mentality. And it's only through going through the entire process of building up something from scratch 
that you get to know yourself artistically, what you like, what you don't like, and you get to know your own way of doing things. And that's how you develop your own artistic style and voice, not through only going by step-by-step -step tutorials. Still to the day, I invest in courses provided by artists that I admire on drawing and painting that are gonna help me increase my skill level and my technique because I know that this is important and that this is a learning journey and that the learning never stops. But still, even when I'm going through those classes, I am making sure to bring myself into the piece as much as I can and to always bring in my knowledge of art fundamentals and art principles to think of how I can improve the piece or how I could change it to actually communicate what I'm trying to communicate. I hope that I've clarified how all of these are different and why they're all important and how they all mesh together, right? It's through knowledge of your tool and developing your technique of your medium that you're able to actually make your visions come to life. It's through a development of an original concept that you're able to make your piece your own, that you're able to transmit yourself through your pieces. And it's through knowledge of principles of art and also art fundamentals that you're able to actually create quality pieces that are harmonious, visually pleasing, that are able to communicate the message that you're trying to communicate. All of these three mesh together to create effective artwork. What I constantly see is that people focus on one of these or two of these and leave out the other one. And this is why they're never able to make deeper progress that they're seeking. And this is exactly why I teach the way that I teach and why I create my resources the way that I do, because it's my objective to get all of my students and community members to a point at which they're creating original quality artwork. And not only this, but I'm also incredibly passionate about helping my students develop a strong, positive artistic mindset that is going to help them succeed long term. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you'd like to access more of my free content, make sure to follow me over on YouTube. Follow me over on Instagram. Check out the blog here at the site. Links are gonna be left down below for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you a ton of progress and of course, enjoyment as you move forward in your art journey and see you soon.